First timers, they walk in there like, what the hell is this place? They have no idea what to expect. Whatever mood you were in when you walked in the door, you're immediately taken somewhere different and you're happy when you walk into Economy Candy. From the outside, it, it doesn't look like that. And then you come in and we're stocked floor to ceiling over 2,000 varieties. We've been around since 1937. We started as a hat and shoe repair shop that just had a push cart outside that sold a little bit of candy. But during the depression, people stopped having money to pay for that kind of stuff. But candy goes a long way. Penny here, penny there, makes you happy. But my parents, Jerry and Eileen, took over in the 80s. They ran it for over 30 years together. And more recently, about five years ago, my wife Skye and I, we joined the business and we're going 81 years strong. Nothing is dull in here. There is so much variety, there's so much color. There's a candy by color section in the store where you've got Roy G. Biv, I go right across. We get people who come down specifically on weekends for the chocolate covered graham crackers, the chocolate covered pretzels, the chocolate covered Oreos. They know they're gonna get it here. They've been buying it here since they were kids and their parents were giving it to them. Plus people that come in just for their dried fruits and nuts. They know we have the best quality around. And then everyone has their own favorite. So that's what's crazy is that you get someone that comes in, they want a box of Abba Zabba. Someone comes in, they want a box of Wacky Wafers. Over 60 different varieties of German Haribo, we've got all the different types of Ritter, we have everything from all over the world. I'm up to nine varieties of Japanese Kit Kats and I got another 11 on the way. Every American candy from A to Z, we have it, it's in stock. If you don't see it, it's probably not made anymore, but if it is, I'll find it for you. What's great is, you know, you get people who are first timers, then you get people who are coming in with their grandkids, who came in when they were kids, brought by their grandparents. So to have those stories and hear the stories about how they used to buy from my grandfather and then buy from my parents, you know, it just makes you happy and it's nice to hear those things. I worked on Wall Street for about six and a half years and I loved it there, but really this this was where I was meant to be and this is where I wanted to be. Just to hear the stories from customers, remembering my grandparents, remembering my parents, and you know, being able to keep that tradition alive really makes me proud. And, and this is an institution in New York and we gotta keep it going. Hopefully 100 plus years we'll still be here.